Hello, my name is Jen. I am the Unorthodox Healer. This is a tarot card reading for any Scorpios out there. It is designed for the start of April and it is for anyone who has Scorpio as a sun, moon or rising sign. I hope that you're well. Um, the start of April is a pretty strong energetic month with Lots of the planets all basically kind of spread around two or three houses um, in the um, astrological wheel. So um, don't be surprised if you're feeling a bit stressed out or a bit um, emotional because I think that we're all feeling like that. So just try and chill out, stay strong, don't do anything um, too exciting and don't let people push your buttons because... If there's an opportunity to do it, we we will. We will feel them being pushed. So, Scorpio, I only take cards to jump out at me, and quite a few have jumped out at me. So the idea today is that we are going to do a reading for what we need to be working on, what is stopping us, what we can do to help, what is out of our control and what the outcome will be. So let's have a look. So the thing that we need to be working on is the Nine of Pentacles. And the Nine of Pentacles is all about um, rewards, about the rewards of all the hard work that you have put in and that they are either about to come to fruition or that they have come to fruition. Nines are all about the culmination of the coming together of all the good things. And pentacles are about wealth, money, things that we buy. Um, it can be emotional wealth as well. So this is saying that you need to keep working hard, focusing, and um, you will find that all of your hard work is paying off and you will find yourself in a really beautiful, independent, um, sort of self-sufficient um, situation, which is really beautiful. Now, as I bang all the cards around... What you can't control, uh, sorry, what is holding you back is the devil. This is a card which is typically about what keeps you awake at night, which you're not proud of yourself about. Um, it can also mean that you have, um, you have a bit of a hang up about something, something that's holding you back. It doesn't have to be literal. Um, it can be something emotional, um, but it is something which is perhaps tempting you away from carrying on with this hard work and seeing the fruits of your labour. Are you being sort of seduced away from doing the work that you should be doing? I kind of get the feeling that you you are that you you just attempted away for whatever reason um you, you your head's being turned um so that you're not able to 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 do the focusing and carrying on with the hard work that you're you're putting in there it might be a capricorn that's turning your head um who knows if it is leave me a comment down below um, I would love to to know as to what the situation is. The thing that you can do to sort this out and to help you concentrate on going back on track is about teamwork and collaborating. You need to be, perhaps this is something work-based, um, that you need to be able to um, focus more on the people around you which are able to to get your focus back onto to this project and this situation so that you can reap the rewards of all the hard work that you've put in so far. 
it might also be that you just need to trust in yourself and 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 feel feel better about yourself i was going to say feel more good about yourself but that doesn't make sense really does it um i think that you're very hard on yourself scorpio and um that isn't helping either um because you you absolutely have the capability to be doing this and getting back into this and you need to be letting the people who are around you give you back the confidence to step away from whatever this situation is and get you back on track because they are really confident they 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 admire you for the work that you've put in so far this is a stonemason and he's been creating this stonework and these people are there sort of in awe of of what the, the the work that they're doing and they're also holding his plan for him so that he can see the design that he's supposed to be following so it's very much a case that you you should be giving yourself more pats on the back and let other people pat you on the back as well so that you can get back on track what you can't change you get the knight of pentacles the knight of pentacles he's a bit of a slow moving art he's a bit dull he's a bit boring again this is about hard work but i think it's showing that you literally can't get away from doing this hard work and it would be a real shame if you did move away from it with whatever this is that's turning your head away from it it is going to take a while to get either back to this point or to get to the point where you are seeing the results of the fruits of your labor but it's absolutely coming he's looking into the future and he's got this pentacle here they're ready to go and gallop across that land but it's not happening yet so it's saying you just have to keep at it the outcome of all of this is the ten of wands and that is about the end of the burdens that you have had and I think that once this pays off nothing is easy you know we we, we don't get anything handed to us on a plate um so it, it does show that you're going to have to put the work in and and stop this this temptation and whatever it is that's turning your head um and and directing you away from putting in the work but if you do the the hard work has absolutely paid off you can see here if you if you can read that wherever we are can you see there that it says um hard work um and completion and that shows that this this is absolutely the end of a end of a cycle for you that put in the hard work and you're gonna absolutely see the fruits of your labor and the burden and the extra responsibility will be gone because he is literally taking all of his burdens and he's he's off with them he's back off to his village he's like right i've had enough of all of this i've put in the hard work i've taken my time to do it i've got away from the distractions i've done the teamwork and listened to the people who are bigging me up and giving me the support that i need and i've got where i want to be and that is the this is me dumping all of that responsibility because I've got to where I wanted to be. I hope that's been useful, Scorpio. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, also check out your um your moon or your rising sign because sometimes they resonate more. And leave me a comment. I'll speak to you again soon. Um, hope that's been useful. Bye, Scorpio. Take care.